Hey Mayish viewers, it's Lisa. I'm coming at you live from the flower market. Today I'm super excited about our showcase. We are highlighting the Japanese product that's been coming in lately. The cool thing about the Japanese stuff is that the grading system that they have is based on bloom size instead of stem size. So I'm going to show you some of the amazing flowers that they have. Okay, so typically sweet peas is what we've seen regularly comes in like solid colors. What they have going on is bicolors where the actual bloom starts with the color and it flares out into a deeper, richer color. Here you have the pinks and peaches. As you can see from this, it starts out with like a light color and goes into the edges and the veins that are in more of an intense color. You have lavender that does the same thing. Again, it goes from like a cream into a lavender. Purple is the same concept. Although this one is very unique because it starts out gray and goes into a dark, like burgundy purple color. The grading system, as I mentioned before, you have, they do it in the laterals of the flower. So here you have five laterals of flower. They have a second grade lower than this that has actually just three. Stem length is always amazing on the Japanese stuff. Another unique thing about the Japanese product is the longevity of it. Typically a sweet pea will last you like three or four days. No one wants to put them in retail arrangements that are supposed to last a week because they think they're gonna die. These, however, last about two weeks. I've done base tests myself, so I know it to be true. Okay. Anemones, they have the same concept. As you can see with this variety right here, it is a bicolor not typical, it's not just a solid color of pink or purple or white. You got a bicolor that starts with the purple in the center and flares out to the, to the white on the edges. They've also kind of just hybridized a lot of items. Chocolate Cosmos, for example. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a Chocolate Cosmo that has this bloom size. And honestly, if you could touch these, you would be amazed at how hardy they are traveling from pretty much across the whole world. They've also done a hybridized spray rose, which is this one right here. I actually don't have any idea what they did to it, but it is, it looks like it's just the center of a rose. So a lot of people have been telling me it looks like a cabbage and they don't even know what it is. So here's the most unique spray rose you'll ever see. Gloriosa has taken on a life of its own through the Japanese stuff. Your typical Dutch Gloriosa has the laterals of flowers on it, but this is, this is insane. There's like six flowers on here and it will last. We have what they're calling snake alium, which is insane. It has a life of its own. I would not put any other flower with that just on the fact that you might take away from the craziness of this one single flower. Over here you have this orchid called Epidendrum. I've only seen it as a plant, but they're doing it as a cut. It still has the foliage on it, which is super cool. Again, you could just use this as a single flower. It doesn't really need anything else with it. Highlight, just a single flower. Now I'm gonna take you on a journey through their ranunculus which again, their grading system is done by the bloom instead of the stem length. So you have three different grades that we've been bringing in. You have, this is what they consider their small grade, which as you can see, being a florist and knowing ranunculus, these are enormous. Then you have a medium, which even gets more enormous. This is, came in yesterday, so the tightness of it, this thing's just gonna fall out and be a massive flower. And my all-time favorite, their hybrid large. This is what they call their large. I can't get enough of these. It's insane because not one person understands or knows what this flower is, but this is just a ranuncula. Simple, gorgeous. Now that I've shown you what the grading system's like, here is the amazing colors that they have. Variety in variegated green centers, oranges, purples that I've never seen, green. 
That is, oh, and these peach, insane. So that concludes my product showcase on the Japanese products. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're as excited about it as I've been.